Hey guys, welcome back to another Wicked Wednesdays. Today I will be doing another special effects tutorial for you guys. I'm just going to be doing quite a simple tutorial. I'm just going to be doing a sliced finger, which it's just the classic magician's trick. You bend the finger down and I'll just be building up another fake finger on top of it with some scar wax and then making it look like it was sliced. So if you would like to see how that's done, stick around. And also, if it does interest anybody, I have applied these eyelashes today, which if any of you guys have seen my Miss A haul video, you will know that I did get some eyelash adhesive off there, which was just a tiny little, if it's going to focus, Cara is the brand, it's just clear eyelash adhesive. I have found that that has worked reasonably well for me. They seem to be quite stuck on, they were easy to apply, it started to dry within about 30 seconds and it was straight on and I can't apply false eyelashes for shit so I'm guessing it must have just been the adhesive that I was trying to use beforehand but I would definitely recommend that adhesive, that's the best one that I have found yet. So if you would like to purchase that, I will give a link to Miss A in the description box below. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, it's just my recommendation. So for today's tutorial, you will need trusty old Vaseline again. It is the handiest thing to have when using scar wax. So next off, you will need some nose and scar wax. You do not need a container this size. You probably do need a decent amount of scar wax though. When I say decent, I don't mean like half of this container, I mean like bit of a log, like look at half of your finger and then be like, yep, that's about the amount I need. You'll also need some 99% alcohol just because I will be using my alcohol activated skin pigment palette, but you could just use foundation to color this as well. So next up, of course, to follow that is the skin alcohol activated palette from European Body Art, some brushes and the usual sponges. And the last two things that you will need will be some types of fake blood. I have the Ben Nye Edible Stage Blood here and I also have just some thick blood. I will not be putting this in my mouth, I am just using it on my hand because I like the thickness and consistency of this blood better than the other liquid blood that I have. And a good thing to have when you're always doing makeup is snacks. Mm, bread. I have some freshly baked Turkish bread which is delicious. And I think I may have eaten part of my lipstick off, but that is irrelevant. We've seen my face till the end of the video, so you will be none the wiser. So now I will transport you guys down to my hand and I'll show you how it's done. I do apologize, I did forget to mention that you do need some Prozade or some kind of adhesive just to make sure that the scar wax stays down nicely. You do not need this, it's not necessary, but if you are planning on wearing this for a decent amount of time, you will want to put adhesive on there just because it will make it last longer. So now for this, if you are doing it on it yourself or another person, you may find taping their finger down easier for them. I have got the board that I can lean on so I'm not too worried about that, but they will be holding their finger down for a little while. So now you're just going to want to coat all over the area where the finger will be. And remember to take it down just that little bit just because you will be blending the edges out. You still want to take your scar wax, and I always forget to do this, but always take your scar wax out before you start working one handed. Of course if you are doing it on someone else then it does not matter, but it's not the easiest thing to get going when you only have one hand. Now once you have a decent clunk, clunk chunk of scar wax, you will just want to go ahead and roll that out into a bit of a sausage because my fingers look like sausages, that's the shape that I'm going for. If you have thinner fingers or longer fingers, always go by the shape that you feel will represent your finger the best. Now when you're happy with the shape that it's taking, of course you will mold it a bit more when it's on your finger, but just wait for the prosade to go clear and then stick that on. Now when the prosade, prosade is dry enough, I'll just be grabbing my finger and sitting it on the top and making it sure that it's really quite pushed down. Now it's just time to start smoothing down all the edges. Don't forget just to keep smoothing it until you're completely happy with how smooth it is. Remember to make sure that you do smooth it down at the back and that looks ridiculous at the moment. I mean, it's just, that's just weird looking. I don't even know how to describe that. Like a unicorn finger figure. So when you're happy with how it's smoothed out on your finger, just go ahead and draw in some of the lines. So you will need a clay sculpting tool or a toothpick or something of some kind that you can then sculpt with. Just remember to always Vaseline your tools before you go ahead and start using. Now 
you want to take your sponges and start texturing the skin. And you can hold the finger in between your thumb and your other finger just keep going. Now once you're happy with the texturing on it, just go ahead and cut the angle that you want your finger to be cut at. Now because it is such a clean cut, you have no texture in the middle, so you want to just go ahead and add a little bit of texture and neediness to it. Now don't forget to try and like just keep an area for the bone. Now it's time to colour it, so you just want to play around and get the desired colour that you will want. Because I do have a bit of a pinky undertone to my fingers, I will just be going in and adding a little bit of red and pink back into it. Now I'm just adding some red to the end of my finger. So now I'm just taking my lightest skin colour and adding that in a circle to the middle of the wound just to add the look of some bone. And I'm just going in and adding some, oh, move it, some shadow just to the crease. So that is the finger all coloured, probably not 100% spot on. Oh, I always forget, I tell you in every video, halfway through, open all of these before you're left with one hand. What do I do in every video? I lengthen that up. I'm an idiot. Oh. Now, with a tool of your choice, I just use this just because it's nice and easy. Just go in and add some chunky bits to the finger. Try and keep away from the little bone area that we did. Just add some of your fake blood and just make sure that you don't put too much on like I just did then. Just remember that blood doesn't always stick that well to scar wax so you can always just add a little bit of dishwashing liquid or soap to the blood and it will stay better on the scar wax. So there you are guys, if I can get my hand in a sweet enough position to show you. Ah, too close. So there you are guys, that is the finished look. I'll get it up nice and close for you guys to see. I can black myself out. It's just a real simple effect. The other finger's still there. But as long as you hold it straight on, even a little bit to the side, doesn't matter. And you can keep your other fingers blocking it this way. Just put, ah, ah. Perfect for Halloween. Scaring your mum, doing something fun. If I can get into this goddamn bag, I'll show you a nice way to try and hide it. So as all good people do, they have a first aid kit handy. Just get some gauze, kind of cloth, something that you'd make a sling out of. Oh, so I've got some blood stains on it. Oh, fake blood guys, don't worry. And if you were just to kind of wrap it around your other finger, it does hide the other finger and you can hold it that way and that way. And there you are guys, that is the finished look. So this guy was of course inspired by Kiana Jones or Freakmo as she goes by on most of her social media accounts now. She is incredible, she is another Australian special effects artist and she is my absolute inspiration. Like I don't think you guys understand how incredibly talented she is. I believe she is all self-taught as well. I will leave a link to her special effects account just over here there somewhere we'll find out you should all go over and check her out if you haven't already seen her you will be so impressed so this is my take on it she does not use scar wax for hers she does do a full prosthetic kind of gelatin piece but it is absolutely incredible so there you are guys I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I did doing it for you don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I am sorry it looks like I'm flipping you the bird there didn't mean it I swear so yeah, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to leave any other suggestions for tutorials that you'd like to see me do just down in the comment section below guys. I'm always open for other suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see me do and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!